Pterosaurs were flying reptiles that lived for over 162 million years from the Triassic to Late Cretaceous period. Pterosaurs were the earliest known vertebrates to have evolved powered flight. Their wings were formed by a membrane of skin, muscle, and other tissues stretching from the ankles to an incredibly lengthened fourth finger. Pterosaurs ranged in sizes from no larger than a hummingbird to the size of a giraffe. In this video we count down the top 10 pterosaurs to have ever existed. Tapahara. Tapahara lived 115 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous and lived in what is now South America. It had a wingspan of 13 feet, even bigger than the wandering albatross. Its large head crest alone reached over 2.8 feet in height. Scientists suggest that Tapahara may have used the head crest as a sail while moving across water, while others believe its size and color helped with finding a mate. Crests and pterosaurs have been carefully studied to see how they affected the flight dynamics of these animals, but usually the main advantage for them having this is for display. This is because every genus has a different shaped head crest, and if the crests were to aid in flight, the designs then would have been selected for in evolution and would have become the norm. Tapahara is one of a larger group of distinctive pterosaurs that have large laterally compressed crests combined with relatively short and deep set of jaws. The diet of Tapahara has since been the subject of a lot of debate. Most scientists consider it to be a fish eater, and some may consider it to have eaten fruit at times. Ornithocharis. Ornithocharis lived approximately 100 million years ago during the middle of the Cretaceous period. Ornithocharis was approximately 10 feet long and had a wingspan of about 20 feet or about three times larger than a bald eagle. Most paleontologists believe that it probably weighed somewhere in the vicinity of 50 to 100 pounds. Which means it could have weighed as little as three bald eagles or as much as six. This animal had a crest that was not on top of its head, but rather on the end of the beak, which is unusual amongst pterosaurs. At the moment, paleontologists aren't exactly sure why the crests were on their beaks, but they believe it may have been used to help crack open the shells of crustaceans. Its beak also started out large and then narrowed at the tip. Paleontologists believe this was to reduce water resistance while it was skimming the surface of oceans looking for fish. After all, it is believed that this flying reptile lived in coastal regions and flew over the ocean, so they likely ate marine animals. The structure of its teeth also points to this conclusion. It has fewer teeth than most pterosaurs, which means that it probably specialized in catching larger fish. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur known from the late Cretaceous period from North America, it was one of the largest known flying animals of all time. Quetzalcoatlus is a member of the family Asdarchidae, which is a family of toothless pterosaurs with unusually long, stiffened necks. The first Quetzalcoatlus fossils were discovered in Texas, in rocks dated to around 68 million years ago. When it was first named as a new species in 1975, scientists estimated that the largest Quetzalcoatlus fossils came from an individual with a wingspan as large as 52 feet. However, more recent estimates place its total wingspan at 33 to 36 feet. Estimates for the height of this pterosaur vary, but some estimates place its height between 18 to 20 feet. The weight of Quetzalcoatlus is not known for certain, However the majority of estimates published since the 2000s estimate the weight to be around 200 to 250 kilograms. Pteranodon. Pteranodon is a genus of pterosaur that included some of the largest known flying reptiles, with wingspans over 23 feet and a height of 6 feet. It had toothless jaws that were very long and pelican-like. Like most pterosaurs, it supported a crest at the back of the skull that may have functioned in species recognition, the crest of males was larger. They lived during the late Cretaceous period in North America, in present-day Kansas, Alabama, Nebraska, Wyoming, and South Dakota. More fossil specimens of pteranodon have been found than any other pterosaur, with about 1,200 specimens known to science, many of them well-preserved with nearly complete skulls and articulated skeletons. Sungaripterus. 
This species was a member of the genus Tsungaripterid. It was approximately 4 feet long from the tip of its snout to its toes and had a wingspan of about 10 feet. It would have weighed about 14 kilograms, or about the same weight as three cats. Tsungaripterus lived during the late Jurassic to early Cretaceous period and inhabited present-day Africa and Asia. Pterodostro. Pterodostro is a genus of pterosaur from South America. Its fossil remains date back to the early Cretaceous period, about 105 million years ago. The most distinctive characteristic that separates Pterodostro from other pterosaurs is the fact that it had up to 1,000 bristle-like teeth in their mouth. Pterodostro had a wingspan of approximately 8.2 feet and stood 4 feet tall. Despite this, they only weighed roughly 2 kilograms. They were omnivores and lived on a diet of small crustaceans, fly larvae, and other plants and animals that live in shallow waters. It has also been speculated to be pink in color, due to its diet being similar to that of modern flamingos. This is because of the carotenoids found in the brine shrimp that these pterosaurs likely ate. Eudomorphodon. Eudomorphodon was a small pterosaur species that lived 216 to 201 million years ago in Europe. It was one of the oldest pterosaurs known. It had a wingspan of about 3.3 feet and weighed no more than 10 kilograms. Eudomorphodon is known from only 13 skeletons, including juvenile specimens. The teeth of this pterosaur, combined with the fact that Eudomorphodon could snap its jaws shut without any spaces between its teeth, points to a diet rich in fish. One Eudomorphodon specimen has been identified bearing the fossilized remains of the prehistoric fish, Parapholidophorus. It is also possible that they may have also eaten insects and potentially crustaceans. Darwinopterus. Darwinopterus was a genus of pterosaur, discovered in China and named after famous naturalist Charles Darwin. Between 30 and 40 fossil specimens have been identified, all collected from the Tiaojishan Formation, which dates to the Middle Jurassic period, 160 million years ago. It had a wingspan of roughly 3.2 feet and weighed less than a quarter of a kilogram. These pterosaurs likely lived on a diet of mostly insects. However, it is believed they could have also fed on small reptiles and even early mammals. Ramphorhynchus. Ramphorhynchus is a genus of pterosaurs that lived in the Jurassic period in Africa and Europe. However, the genus, unlike most pterosaurs, did not have any kind of soft tissue crests, nor did it have a bony support for any kind of head integument. While small in comparison to the larger pterosaurs of the Cretaceous, Ramphorhynchus is still larger than most pterosaurs that lived in its environment. It had an estimated wingspan of 6 feet. It was also a piscivore, with teeth that seemed to function as a fish trap for grabbing swift-moving prey from just below the waves. It was not, however, adapted for skimming the surface of the ocean and picking up fish, as some have suggested in the past. Evidence for a mostly fish diet comes from a specimen with the small herring-like fish leptolipides caught in its throat. Pterodactylus. Pterodactylus was a small early pterosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, from Germany. It had a wingspan ranging from 20 inches to well over 3 feet. Pterodactylus was a carnivore that probably fed on a variety of invertebrates and vertebrates. Like all pterosaurs, Pterodactylus had wings formed by a skin and muscle membrane stretching from its elongated fourth finger to its hind limbs. Pterodactylus lived alongside other small pterosaurs such as the well-known Ramphorhynchus, as well as other genera such as Scaphognathus, Aneurognathus, and Tenochasma. Well, that was the top 10 pterosaurs that existed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.